Today we are talking about basic concepts of uh, circle. Now circle is a very important uh, part of geometry and also it is so much uh, everywhere in wherever you look around starting from our earth when you look at sun or moon there is so many things in the whole universe is uh, circular in shape so it is um, very important from academic mathematical point of view to learn the or read about different properties of uh, the, uh, the circle so with that let's start getting uh, to know the different uh, concepts or the basic properties of circle so let's start with what is a circle so let's see so we have a circle here as you see the the distance of this point and this point looks kind of same from the the center so that is what it is circle which is the circle is defined as a shape which is equidistance uh, from its center and all points so that means all the points on its <coughs> is same distance from the center so that is the fundamental properties of circle and each of these lines called radius so what is a radius radius is the distance from the point on the circumference what is called circumference from the circumference to the center so that is radius and normally it is designated as r now what is a diameter diameter is a line which passes from one point to the another part of the circle going through the center so what that means is that this is one of the diameters it's starting let's say point a to point b going through the the center so like that we can have lots of diameters so this is also another diameter the other thing also you know you will read later on in the circle something about chord chord is a line joining from one point to the another point now i don't want to discuss much about chords here but one thing to note is the diameter is the longest chord in the circle then comes circumference the circumference is the length of the perimeter of the circle so that is known as circumference and it is expressed as 2 pi r where r is the radius now i forgot to mention diameter is equal to 2 r and normally it is it is uh, designated as d so you say d for diameter r for radius circumference then can also be expressed as pi d where 2r becomes d area so there is another important part uh, uh, to know about circle which is area area is the the total length inside the circle or not length total area inside the circle so area of the circle is pi r square r is, is again the radius we have been using this word pi now most of you already know but it is uh, a good uh, idea to mention something about pi now pi the value of pi is 3.14 or sometimes it is expressed as 22 by 7 now if you are asked what is pi so the, the origin of pi is stressed to it is the circumference when the early mathematicians they were trying to play with uh, you know different pa parts of geometry circle they discovered that the circumference divided by the diameter always has a constant ratio for a circle and they defined that as pi so that's why you see circumference is equal to pi d so in other way you can express pi equal to circumference by diameter now angle now 
angle is another very universal uh, thing so anything to do with geometry but from a circle point of view the angle is so the entire angle on the center is 360 degrees what does that mean so that means let's say this one is this angle let's say this angle let's say it is one degree this angle is let's say another one degree so if you add all the angles made at the center you will get 360 degree and for each of the what is the relation between the angle and the what is called a length here on the circumference so for each of one degree at the center the length of this is 1 by 360th of the circumference so let me write it down this length is 1 by 360 of circumference which is 2 pi r so if this is 1 degree this length is always going to be 1 by 360 of the entire circumference no matter how large is the circle so that's pretty much all the concepts related with circumference i just want to recap a few of the important ones one is the circumference which is 2 pi r and the area which is pi r square we would be using these two formula lots of times in the in the future uh, while solving problems um, so with that i hope you got a good idea about different uh, properties of circle we have lots more properties uh, which will come in in the future lessons but this is sort of the basic set of properties which you discussed today. Thank you.